Hi, this is just a little small tutorial to show you how to install Reshade 4.7 or 4.8 for The Sims 4, as well as my own preset that I made, um, which I made using 4.7, and I said here in the description that it should work with any 4. Point any version. But upon testing it today, I found that 4.8 is slightly different. Um, I'm going to go through the two installations for 4.7 or 4.8. If you decide to use Reshade 4.7, it's fine no matter which one you use, like it's the same result. If I'd use 4.7, the installation process is slightly longer, but once you have it installed, it will work as intended straight away. If you decide to use 4.8, the installation is quicker, but they changed how the MXMAO shader worked in 4.8. So it's just one final like checkbox once you have it installed that you need to change. So 4.7 is a longer installation but will work straight away. Uh, 4.8 is a quicker installation but requires like one tiny extra step. Um, but I'm going to show you both because I want to cover as much as I can. If you're wanting to use Reshade 4.7, I'll include the link in the description uh, where to find the Reshade repository, which is all the old versions of Reshade. Because um, if you go to the Reshade website, it only lets you install the most recent one, which is 4.8. But if you want to get 4.7, I'll include the link in the description or on the post. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Anyway, once you get to the repository, <laughs> um, uh, if you go into the Reshade 4.0 subfolder, scroll down and there'll be one called reshade setup 4.7.exe um, download and download this so once you have that reshade setup 4.7.0.exe installed you're going to want to launch it and it'll ask you click here to select game click this big box and all your games that you own will come up here for some reason the sims 4 doesn't appear on this list in the bottom right you can manually find the game if you go to browse and then the location that sims 4 exe is kept in is local disk c drive uh program files 86 origin games sims 4 game and bin not in bin le bin and you want to just left click on the ts4 underscore x64.exe hit open it'll ask which rendering api does the sims 4 use You'll have to check the box for Direct 3D 9, the one at the most left. And this is where you get asked about all the packages that you want to install. Uh, for 4.7, you have to manually pick what shaders you want from each package. Um, while in 4.8, if you select a package, it'll install all the shaders in it. So click uncheck all at the bottom and then check all. So I'll select them all. And the only one you want to uncheck is Otis FX. The reason we don't check Otis FX is because Otis FX uses a lot of shaders which are already included in these other packages. And when you load a reshade preset which uses one of these shaders, it'll basically load two of them, which can make it look really weird and funky. So next you want to hit OK. Don't hit skip. Hit OK. If you're installing Reshade 4.7, it'll go through all these packages and it'll ask which specific parts, which specific effects and shaders you want. Um, just make sure they're all checked for all of them. By default, they're all checked on every package apart from the last one. I'll show you. Once you get to legacy standard effects, you'll want to, as you can see, only some of them are selected. Just to make it quick, uncheck them all and then check them all and you'll get them all given to you. Hit OK after you have them all checked. And now the installation for Reshade 4.7 is complete, so you can just hit the X to close it. And then you're going to want to install that Reshade preset. For this example, I'm literally just going to be using my own. Um, and show you what it looks like in game. When you go to install a reshade preset, you're going to want to save it in that same bin folder we found earlier, which is 
C slash program files 86 origin games the sims 4 game bin I just already have it saved so I'm not going to overwrite it now I'm launching the sims 4 to show you that it's working for reshade to work correctly you need to make sure that in game options under graphics edge smoothing is turned off and post oh my god and post processing effects are also unchecked just to show you that they're working I'm going to tab mode and then I'll hit the home key to open reshade menu, select the reshade preset, wait for it to load. And there it is, working. I have various shortcuts as shift 1 toggles the depth of field effect, uh, shift 2 toggles the bloom, yeah. Shift 3 lightens the scene a bit, but I don't recommend using it apart from like environmental shots at night. Like here, it just makes him look weird. Uh, shift 4 turns on and off the ambient light. So that's the installation progress for Reshade version 4.7 completed. If you decide to use the most recent version of Reshade, which is version 4.8.2, I believe, yeah, you can go to the official reshade.me website and hit download Reshade 4.8.2 here. Using version 4.8.2 means that the installation process is quicker but requires one extra step at the end once you're in game, which I will show you how to do. So once you have that Reshade set up 4.8 installed, you want to run it. Click here to select the game and manage its reshade installation. Sims 4 will not appear on this list and you're going to want to hit browse in the bottom right. Then you need to manually find your Sims 4 EXE for 64 bit, which is located in C drive, program files 86, origin games, Sims 4, game and bin. Left click the TS4 underscore X64 EXE and hit open. It'll ask which rendering API does The Sims 4 use. The Sims 4 uses Direct 3D9, so you want to hit this little box here. Then it'll ask you to select effect packages to install. It's important that you hit uncheck all at the bottom left and then check all. The only one you need to uncheck is Otis effects. Make sure that box is empty. Make sure all these boxes have a check mark in, apart from Otis effects. And hit OK. Best part about Reshade 4.8 is once you hit OK, it installs everything without you having to manually select which shaders from all the packages you want. Once you have Reshade 4.8 installed, you're going to want to download your Reshade preset that you want. So we're going to be looking at how to install the Afros preset that I made. To install a reshade preset, it needs to be located in the same area you looked at earlier when to find the TS4 EXE file, which is located in the C drive slash program files 86, origin games, the Sims 4 game, and bin. Save it in there. Now we're going to launch the game. Once you're in game, you want to go to game options graphics options and make sure edge smoothing is turned off and post processing effects is also unchecked. This ensures that the shaders all work correctly. I'm going to go in game to show you the final step that you need to do if you decided to use 4.8. For now I'm in game in tab mode I can hit the home button to open the reshade menu. Then at here I will select my reshade preset. In 4.8, it's slightly different how this is laid out, but if you select the reshade preset and then hit select. Once the preset loads, you'll notice it looks like this, which is really weird. For some reason, in uh, version 4.8, they changed how the MXAO shaders work, um, which you can very easily switch back to how they worked before. Uh, you can do this by having this window open, and at the bottom you see edit global pre... Yeah. Edit global preprocessor definitions. Click this and you'll see this drop down with four numbers. Where it says one, switch that to a zero. Where it says reshade depth input is reversed, it will have a one. Replace that with a zero and hit enter. Click edit global preprocessor definitions again to close the window. 
once you do that, it will reload the shader. And now it will look how it's intended to look. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial helped at least a little bit. Uh, I hope that it's easy to follow. And if you have any more questions, um, feel free to contact me. Okay. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>